Jesus said, drink wine. Jesus said, drink wine, not water. Right? Nah, that's not what he said. Like, it was a dude he kept saying to me, like, Jesus said, drink wine, not water. I'm like, hell nah. That's not what Jesus said. He said, he, he made a miracle, right? He changed water to wine. Right? And I see him uh, another day. And he drinks wine again. And he's like, drink wine with me. I'm like, nah. And then he says, Jesus said, drink wine. Not water. And I'm like, nah, that's not what Jesus said. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then I see him again. And he says the same again. And again. And again. You know, some people, they're just stupid, you know. And you just gotta accept the stupidity, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you wanna be stupid, go ahead and be stupid, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not gonna stop you, right? But don't make it to what it isn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't change the story about Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Don't lie about it. And guys, it's like, I like to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that I don't I can have a good time, you know what I'm saying? But like, why are all these Christians lying about uh, Jesus, right? Like, it's so strange. It's like these guys, like, like Illuminati, whatever they call themselves, you know, the Freemasons, whatever. Weirdos, right? Like, why you gotta be so anti-Jesus about it, so satanic with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, with all this music, uh, symbolism, and all this deviant uh, stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's like there's a verse in the Bible, you know, like uh, all even the evil, all the evil and even the evil people, they're gonna become like, uh, they're just glory to God, you know what I'm saying? Like, even through all these evil people they do, people are gonna see like, wow, Satan is here, the demons are here, and they're gonna be like, bling, the lamp is gonna, gonna blink, and they're like, oh, there must be a God, right? So we're just going to see more people come to truth through various uh, ways, right? Even through Illuminati and all this stuff, right? Like people are going to like convert from different religions, right? Because if you truly seek the truth, right? You seek the truth, then we'll find Jesus. This is an amazing, right? doesn't matter how much, like, I didn't never wear... Um, any mask i never took anything right like i was the only guy guys like everybody was walking around i was the only guy without right because i don't give a f you know and people are like oh my god what are you doing what are you doing to your family oh, 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 oh. it's like people are just so uh, dramatic right like Bro, uh, I stood before Christ, you know what I'm saying? I met Jesus himself, you know what I'm saying? I stood before him. The greatest shame um, you can ever feel, right? Stand before Christ. Uh, he sees everything. He sees right through you. And uh, these people, they think, like, uh, you're going to come to me and all be, like, some holy guy or something. No, like, I see right through you, like go away with your repenting of sins and all these uh, confessions and all this, right? You know, a lot of uh, guilt, uh, blaming, shaming, uh, a lot of uh, finger pointing, right? Like, you know, in the end, like, guys, we must forgive these people because uh, they just fell for forgiving because they don't know what they do, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really don't, you know what I'm saying? They're like NPCs. In a game, you know what I'm saying? Like non playable characters, you know? They're just like programmed in a game and they just like run around there. You can't like play with them. It's because they don't think for themselves, you know, that's what an NPC is, you know, it's somebody who who can't think for themselves, you know, who don't make a decision based on his own uh, mind, right? Like his own uh, decisions. And, you know, the crazy thing, chosen one, you know, I know this is crazy, you know this is crazy, right? You know, the sad and crazy thing is that the really real thing is why they hate you is because you tell the truth, you expose them, 
and you expose the fallacies, right? This is why they hate you. Like, you didn't do nothing but to just stand in the truth, be in the truth, right? And you're just trying to treat people like you want to be treated, right? Like, not like that you're holy or something like this, but like, you're not, you're just seeking peace, you're seeking uh, joy, right? You don't, you don't seek uh, harming nobody, right? Or even when you're like, Telling the truth about God and about Jesus and about the Bible and all this, right? They just don't want to accept it, right? Like they accept every else false, you know. Repent of your sins and you must do this and do that, right? They they love it, right? But when you tell them the truth about grace and uh, forgiveness, you know, uh, love of God, right? Like there's nothing we can do with it. God did the work for us, right? Like, you tell them the truth. And these people, they just laugh at you and mock you and scoff at you, right? you you just like a cheap... Cheap-ass Christian or something, like, in the eyes, right? Like, you know, right away, they're like, but you must change. You know, where's the change in your life? You know, where's the fruit? And you must repent of your sins. Like, if these people, like, they do everything they claim, right? Like, if you didn't... They don't know if you what you do, right? Like, they don't know if you see God or whatever you do, right? Like, but they're always so quick to judge. Like, if they they did everything, right? They repented of sins, right? And you tell them, right? It doesn't even matter in the end because, like, we all guilty before the law and Jesus Christ did the work. There's no work you can do. And then these people, they just like, no, 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 it's not enough, right? But like. Jesus Christ himself, he said it like very, very, truly, truly, I say, you know, very, very, truly, truly, you know, he that believeth, right, uh, should have everlasting life, you know, so if you believe, you know, you believe, it's like, there's nothing they can do, you know, and uh, it's just so funny that they just want to take it away from you, right, like, they want to attack you because you stand in the truth, you know the truth, and they have just been braced, brainwashed, indoctrinated, you know, by the doctrines of Satan, doctrines of this world, you know. It's like people, they just rather want to believe uh, all these lies, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so sad, it's so sad. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, one thing I can say to you is just pray for wisdom, you know. Pray for wisdom, pray for understanding, because they don't understand like Jesus said Father forgive them because they do not understand but you understand you understand chosen you know what I'm saying like you understand what's going on and it is, it's a blessing and sometimes it can, it can feel like a curse right because you not be vibing in this world right you in this world but not of this world right like that's why you must let go, you know, you know what I'm saying, let go of this world, you know what I'm saying, because it is a liar, it is a deceiver, and this is the thing you're going to see when you stand before the Most High, you know, it's like, wow, I've been deceived so much, you know, this world, this world is such a liar, you know, and yeah, so if God can forgive you, because you was, for, you know, deceived and by, by the devil, right? And the devil is the deceiver. He is the accuser also, right? So he deceives you. He deceives you. And then he accuses you, right? It's like... But then God, he's just... Ever bounding, everlasting grace. You know what I'm saying? And to those who believe, right? If you believe in God just in a split second. When you believe in the Son, Jesus Christ. You know? That's why you must believe in him, right? Because then you get all the, the gifts, the understanding, all the the wisdom, right? And you will be free, and he that is free is free indeed. And it's like, when you're free, you're free, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, now I'm free, now I'm not free, now I'm free. Now I'm slave to the things, now I'm free. Now I'm slave to the things, now I'm free. No, it's not like this, right? Like, you're free, you know what I'm saying? Like, he paid the price, you know, it's like, now you must walk by faith, right, these guys are like, oh, you must walk, go back to the law and follow the law, like, we, we broke the law, you know what I'm saying, everybody broke the law, 
right? So now we walk by faith, right? We pray, right? We pray to God so that He give us the wisdom, right? The understanding, right? That He don't lead us into temptations, you know what I'm saying? He don't He guide us into righteousness, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then. You would try your best, man. Try your best. You know what I'm saying? Chosen one. Try your best. You know what I'm saying? Because God's God's love and mercy is ever bounding. It's everlasting. He sees you. He loves you. And uh, yeah. God bless. You know what I'm saying? God bless you. God bless you, chosen one. Stay strong in your faith. You know what I'm saying? Pray for, for strength in your faith. You know what I'm saying? Pray for for wisdom, you know what I'm saying, for for knowledge, right, like, yeah, peace.